Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to come back here and do another um, hair tutorial. And this style I actually um, was inspired by uh, Tai Mi She Her. Um, I just I saw a picture of her um, style on Pinterest, and thank God it had a, a watermark on the picture, and that led me to her Instagram page. And her Instagram page led me to her YouTube page. So I'll leave all of her information, the Instagram and uh, her YouTube page, below. Um, she did a really great job in this tutorial. Um, and I'm just going to try and recreate that look. Um, and just stay tuned if you want to um, see how to do this look. Let me turn around and show you what it actually looks like. So it's black Swiss style. It's focusing. Okay, so mine is still a bit looser than hers. Uh, she's uh, very good at parting, and um, I need work on that part. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please stay tuned to learn how to do this style. Okay, so this is my hair um, out. I'll turn around and show you. So there's a, a lot to work with, um, but I've kind of gotten how to handle it down um, right now. Um, so I'm going to start off with, actually I'm going to just put some moisturizer in it. Um, and I'm going to just use this Shea Moisture. Jamaican black castor oil uh, leave-in conditioner. Okay, and I'll just put a bit in my hands and just rub it on the ends of my hair mostly. Because that's usually what needs the most moisture. And it needs like some extra conditioning. So I'm going to put it there, just a little, and now I'm going to use this uh, tail comb and just uh, make my parts. Now I'm not perfect at parting, but I'll try my best. So I'm going to start off with the side of my head, right where my ear is, the top of my ear is, and just kind of create a half part. I'm just going to tug at it a little because there we go. And I am due for a wash so my scalp is a little bit dry. So the next time I'm washing, I'll just do a pre-pull with some oils. I usually use extra virgin olive oil or sometimes coconut oil to do my pre-pull. So I'm just gonna... I'm parting with my fingers as well. I'm just gonna clip off the back portion of my hair. Get it out of the way. So I clipped it off. And now I'm going to make another part here. I'm just going to try to part it here, going across my head. Just keep going. I'll stop it here actually. And I'll use these clamps to clamp this section out of the way. So I have this piece of hair right here. And I'm just going to do a two strand flat twist to 
twist it up. But first, um, I'll put some of my Shea Butter Mix on this, just to give it a nicer hold. to do my two strand flats. Now this does feel a bit awkward. <laughs> and now I have to figure actually which direction I'm going to do the two strand flats in. And I think I will do it going... Mm. This feels weird. So I'll do it going forward. So I'm just going to twist. I do have some shedding, but shedding is always normal with my hair. I'm still trying to figure out how to control it, so uh, when I get that mastered, I will let you guys know. Actually, I need to continue bringing this, this twist over. It's really confusing actually, um, when you switch hands. So shout out to Tai Mi, she, her, she actually did this style perfectly and I'm just trying to recreate it. Okay, so I got halfway across my head and I'm just going to use a pin and pin it down. Pin it in place. Now I didn't finish twisting all the way to the end, I left the rest of that twist out. So. I'll join it together later. Now I'm gonna do another part here. Actually no, I'm not gonna do another part there. I'm just gonna leave it at two and just go across my head with just this portion. And this part that I already had here from a previous style I'll keep. Just neaten it up and then have part it across. So I'll have a three flat twist that will eventually connect into one at the front of my head. So I have this portion here. I'm gonna just clamp it off with another clamp. Let me twist it first actually. I'll put some of my shea butter mix on here. Oops, I should have warmed that up a bit more. Yeah, sometimes when you don't warm your shea butter up, it can be a bit clumpy in your hair, but just rub it and it will just dissolve. Your body heat warms it up really nicely. Okay, now let me do the twisting again. Oh, this is. Towards the top of your head. So I'm twisting towards the top of my head. I hope you guys can hear me. And just keep twisting and add in hair in. See, I'm much more comfortable on this side of my head, actually. Mm -hmm. So I've 
cut it halfway. And I'm going to pin this one as well. Just to hold the twist because I did not pin it, I did not twist it all the way to the end. So I'll just put one pin in just to hold that twist. And now I'll do the final twist from the front of my hair. And I'll apply some shea butter. Now I'm doing this style really loose. I tend not to do tight styles on my hair. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm, I'm not heavy handed enough. Um, as you can see, I'm much comfortable, much more comfortable with uh, the two strand flat twist on this side of my head, going in this direction. So I, I just twisted it down and I'm gonna connect other two twist to this one and let's see if I could actually do this properly. <laughs> there we go. And Twist this down. And so this one is twisted all the way down. Now when it comes to the back section of my hair, I still have this section left. I'm going to, um, I'll just use my fingers to part it actually. Um, I'm going to part a, a circle. Actually, I won't part a circle. I'm just gonna go halfway across the low, the full way across my head, and then hold this section here. So I'm gonna start the twist from this side of my head, bring it around, and meet with this clamp part here. Take that the, the brit the twisted front and connect it into this new two st two strand twist that I'm creating in the back. this clamp section and continue the twist. So I managed to get it back to this side of my head. I twist it to the end. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to just feel around and tuck it into that little uh, hole in the middle here and just pin it in. And I'll just uh, put some more hair pins in to make it a bit tighter. So I'll put one here. And just tuck my flyaways. I tend to have a lot of flyaways. This is why I always put on a scarf after I do my hair. Okay. And I'll just feel around and put pins where I feel it needs a bit more security. Okay, so I'll put my headscarf on just to lay down my flyaways and then I'll come back to you to show you the finished results. Okay, so I'm back and um, I finished getting ready and I'll just take down this scarf to just show you the finished look. Okay, so here's my, the here is the final product. Um, my flyaways are now laid down and I really like this style actually. Um, yeah, it's just a different way to do your flat twist. I'll just show you again. And there you have it, a beautiful flat twist updo that you can wear to work, you can wear to events. Um, and it's a protective style that will keep your strands tucked away. Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment below, um, rate and subscribe.